Well, he does. She's right. And if this truly is part of some master plan for which we know not the final move, we mustn't be so bold, nor can we risk the spread of panic. I have served you faithfully for years. But if you mean to tell me that your plan is to merely hold the defenses and w ah, Of course. So logically, you got out of bed, dressed yourself completely, and decided to gaze menacingly out into the distance. What's wrong? I've trusted him for years. We both have. I just... I can't help but feel like he's keeping us in the dark. Don't be ridiculous. You know very well that we are not the ones in the dark. That makes it worse. I refuse to believe that a man I've trusted for so long would act so passively. You're a good person, James. You've always done what you think is best for the people. Even against strong protest, it's admirable. But it's high time you stopped talking about trust and started showing it. Ozpin has experience that the rest of us lack. And I think that's something worth remembering. Energy. There is a sanction fight happening just around the corner at the Coliseum that I can assure you has better seats and popcorn. Break it up, everyone. We will take care of this mess. A word, please. If I was one of your men, I'd shoot myself. Well, I wouldn't condone his behavior. Retaliating like you did certainly didn't help the situation. He was drunk. He's always drunk. You sent me to get intel on our enemy, and I'm telling you, our enemy is here. We know. Oh! Go on. They're the one responsible for Autumn's condition. What? Despite what the world thinks, we're not just teachers or generals. We're the ones that keep the world safe from the evils no one even knows about. It's why we meet behind closed doors, why we work in the shadows. So you tell me, James, when you brought your army to Vale, did you think you were being discreet? Discreet wasn't working. Because Ozpin wanted you here. He made you a part of this inner circle and opened your eyes to the real fight that's in front of us. And you think they're scared of your little ships? I've been out there and I've seen the things she's made, and let me tell you, they are fear. And fear will bring the grim. A guardian is a symbol of comfort, but an army is a symbol of conflict. There's an energy in the air now, a question in the back of everyone's minds. So then, what would you suggest we do? Sorry we're late. You know who we are. We're still the same teachers and headmasters you met when you arrived at Beacon. Where are we going? The vault under the school. I'm sure you must have questions. Maybe one or two. I still don't understand. You said I was next in line to receive the Maiden's power. What do you mean by that? The Maidens have existed for thousands of years, but much like in nature, the seasons change. No two summers are alike. When a Maiden dies, her power leaves her body and seeks out a new host. 
ensuring that the seasons are never lost and that no individual can hold on to the power forever. Crow! Hey, don't get mad because I'm right. At first, the only thing that was certain was that the powers were specifically passed on to young women. But as time went on, it was discovered that the selection process was much more intimate. As we understand it now, when a maiden dies, the one who is in her final thoughts is the first candidate to inherit her power. Unless it's a dude or some old hag. Then the power goes to someone random, and our jobs get a lot harder. Why tell me all of this now? Why not wait until I've graduated? You're not talking about war. Not a war between nations. <sighs> the current fall maiden. She's still alive. For now. We're using state-of-the-art Atlas technology to keep her stable. But there is a lot about this situation that is unprecedented. What do you mean? Well, we don't know what will happen if, when she passes. Won't her power just transfer to the next host? And that would not bode well for any of us. If all of this is true, why keep it secret? If this girl is so important, if, if we're truly on the brink of war, why not tell everyone? From what we understand, it used to be common knowledge. Excuse me? How do you think legends and fairy tales get started? Even the craziest ones come from somewhere. Our group was founded in order to protect both mankind and the maidens. Those hungry for power hunted them with the hope of inheritance. And so this brotherhood chose to remove the maidens from the public eye, allowing their existence to fade away into legend. The things we're telling you go against hundreds of years of human history. Religion. No one would want to believe us. It'd cause an uproar. It would cause panic. It is. But I'm afraid it's not that simple. Given Amber's condition, you won't be able to inherit her power naturally. However, General Ironwood believes he has a solution. For the past few years, Atlas has been studying Aura from a more scientific standpoint. How it works, what it's made of, how it can be used. We've made significant strides, and we believe we've found a way to capture it. Capture it and cram it into something else. Or in your case. The feeling is mutual, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And these are indeed desperate times. We can't transfer Amber's power to you, but we can give you what those powers are bound to. Her aura. Her life would become intertwined with yours. The question is, and what, I ask you, is Osborn teaching his students? Us, but... What? No. This area is secure. Someone's done the impossible and gained control of my machines. And that enormous grim seems to be fixated on the school. Glinda, form up with the local huntsman and establish a safe zone here in Vale. We need to evacuate Beacon. Crow, I'm leaving that to you and my men. I still need to get to my ship. Your faith in mankind was not misplaced. When banded together, Unified by a common enemy, they are a noticeable threat. With no end in sight, try as they might, the local huntsmen and huntresses can't seem to get a hold of the situation at Beacon Academy. But I promise Professor Goodwitch of Beacon and Headmaster Theodore of Shade can verify all of this.